So today I'm going to unbox and build this Alwi robotic arm edge kit. And you can get this directly from Alwi's website or I got it off of Amazon for just under $40. And it's a kind of an interesting entry level uh, robotics arm kit that gives you kind of an introduction to both electronics and the mechanical aspects of building. So I'm going to kind of take a look at the box here to show you the motions, what it's supposed to do. And our kit contents are all on the side here. We'll look at that when we unbox it. But there's, there's about four degrees of freedom in this arm. There's wrist motions, there's elbow motions, base motions, and then base rotation. So it's got about four different degrees of freedom of movement. And then you've got the gripper and there's a little LED light right in the middle there. And it's all controlled with a wired controller. So, not wireless. You can do maybe a modification later on to make it wireless. There has, there is people that have done that already. And the tools you need to build this is you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. You'll need some needle nose pliers. This is especially needed for the parts where you need to put the nuts into place for the screws to hold down since you got to assemble it. Then you need some wire cutters. This is for cutting the plastic pieces out of the uh, things they've got in there. And it's kind of an optional thing. If, like you need to sand some of those plastic burrs off after you get them out of the uh, templates. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for the outside. So let's get into the box here and start looking at the inside contents. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you also need four D-cell batteries. I got them over in the corner there. And I'll explain why it needs that later. And the first item here that we have, this is our remote rewired uh, wired controller for the arm. That's the circuit board and the wires for that. Now, there's no soldering that you need to do for this. Everything is pre-soldered and wired up already. It's just a matter of assembly. And this is the parts bag for the robot arm. There's a little LED part in there. There's some of the gearing, gearing for the motors. Plates and of course a couple of wiring in there. Let's see. This is our controller casing. The plastic case that that circuit board I showed you earlier goes into. And let's see. A couple of bags of parts. This is one bag of the plastic parts that we'll have to separate from the templates. And these are the, some of these are the gears that go on the outside that allow for some of the arm movement. And these large yellow pieces are part of the base. So that's kind of the base part. This is some more wiring and stuff. This has some weight to it, so I think these are the five DC motors that powered. I think this is the motor pack. Get another large thing of plastic parts. Some more parts of the base. All these yellow parts are our motor housings. So we'll pull that up. <sighs> and then inside lies our instruction manual. It's step by step, step by step by step building instructions. All the illustrations for how to build it. So this box out of the way. I'll stop this here and we'll resume after I got some packs open and we start construction. All right, well, it looks like the first step here is doing some of the mechanical assembly involving putting together some of these motor casings. So I've got casings out, I've got some of the screws and gears out, and I've also got all the individual DC motors out here. So that is the first step I've got to assemble two of these, so I guess I'm going to take care of that, and we'll check back on that later. So here's the inside of one of the gearboxes for the, well, motor module, I could say, and how it's assembled. There's a blue and a black gear that goes through here on the other side, that you can see right there. 
and that kind of acts like a clutch gear. It allows this black gear to skip inside the blue gear there in case the arm overextends or something like that where the uh, gears would end up binding. And they just got this normal gear reduction and then these motors use a worm gear to drive the system. So this provides a lot, plenty of torque from this small motor setup. Of course, you're not going to have a whole lot of speed and that's what a lot of people notice. So this is what one of the motor modules look like. So I have completed building the four motor modules that it needs right now. Two of them have short wires probably for the base and two have longer wires for the upper portions. They're color coded and one has a white gear versus a black. So those are done. Now with the instructions what I need to build is now start working on the base and the battery holder for the D-cell batteries. And then I got to build the one last module for the gripper. So we'll get working on that now. Now we've been coming along on the base here. We've got the four D batteries installed. And we've also got the base motor platform installed there too. The interesting thing I noticed here is there's a separate power wire from the main power wires in the battery box. My guess this is for the LED light. This is the main uh, power wire the whole system because apparently this is six volts off of here and this would be three volts off of here so that's probably a three volt LED that they've got on there let you explain that but we've got this assembled now we got to start doing some more of the other motor assemblies and whatnot so we'll get to that here during construction so we've taken care of getting the arm installed on the bottom motor and getting the other motor attached to it Right now, I'm working on getting the gripper motor put together, and then we will attach that like so to there, and it will be controlled with the wrist motor here. So we'll get to that. Uh, we now have most of the arm assembled now, motor-wise and whatnot. Battery box is just being put together, and now starting to put all the electrical connections together and also start building the circuit board and control box for the robotic arm. And so far it's coming along, it's been taking uh, several hours to get it all together here. But uh, now let's see what it all that comes out like when we're done. Well now we have finished construction of the arm. The control board is inside the enclosure here and it's all been wired up and all the wires are guided in the places where they need to be. So all that's left now is I just have to put together the wired remote and this arm should be ready to go. Now I'll be doing the assembly of the wired remote right now. We've got the main board in the back plate and this long ribbon cable. Right now I just finished installing the metal control tabs for each control surface on it. Now the next part that I'm going to have to do is start putting these on here and then I'm going to have to put the front casing on and secure that down. Then all i got to do is hook up the remote and this thing should be ready to go. And now after several hours of work our LE robotic arm edge is now complete. The controller is all built together. The ribbon cable is connected. I've already done some testing to work out any bugs. There was an issue with the motor in here where the gears weren't meshed properly and the uh, motor was stuck. So I had to take that apart and fix that, but now everything works. We got the two controls. Motor one controls the gripper. Two is your up and down hand movement. Three is the wrist movement or arm movement. And four is the whole arm. And then five down here toward the bottom is your rotational movement. That's the way pick up the screw there. And of course the little switch here turns on, on, on and off the LED on the front arm.
and that little click you heard is the clutch because I showed the gears earlier that go inside the these little gears here they have clutch they're basically built to work like a clutch so you don't strain or damage the motor There you go. And that's pretty much what it is. Now, of course, this is what it is stock, but a lot of people get things like the Arduino kits or things like that where they can remote control this, or there's even the USB interface that Alley provides that you can actually connect this to a computer and write out a program or use the computer to operate the robotic arm. But it's a neat little kit for only 40 bucks now. There were some things I did find a little off with the arm when it was being constructed since this is plastic parts and we're using metal self-tapping screws. They, uh, they, they can easily strip out the plastic and I found that on a couple of screws where I had that issue where they wouldn't uh, tighten down because they had stripped the plastic out. Uh, and so it's some of the other issues. Again, I had the issue where the uh, gears didn't mesh up properly in this motor module, so I had to take that apart and fix that. It was just a matter of taking it apart and making sure the axles all lined up inside because when I put it together, I must have got it misaligned. Mm -hmm. 